I'm doing, I do custom furniture, so I'm building a bunk bed for someone who lives in my town. And I actually met them through Facebook Marketplace. I just had one of those free ads that says custom furniture, and I get all kinds of messages on that. So uh, I'm building it for them, and that's what we're working on today, and what the majority of this video will be about. My name is Lee. Welcome to the Brees Build YouTube channel, and I have an announcement to make. I am bringing back the very short-lived shop vlog series from my main YouTube channel and putting it on this channel. Let me explain further. <laughs> so when I started my Brees Builds Instagram page about four and a half years ago now, back in 2016. The reason I started it was because uh, my dad had passed a year prior and all the stuff that he had made, our, our workshop, all of his projects, the stuff he's done around our house, I had no idea the history of any of it. And I had no pictures or photos of any of that stuff, of him working on it, of it being new. I just knew it was there and that he made it. And I had a friend tell me people and the significance of things tend to only stick around as long as they remain in someone's conscious. And that kind of hit me that like, you know, unless I document all this stuff, there's no way anyone's ever gonna know that my dad made this stuff. And so I started the Instagram page to document that, document the build process, how I made things, how things worked, uh, what my method was, my growth of my skills. That's sort of like why I started the page. Instagram, you only do so much. To continue that storytelling of how things are made, how things come to be, the whys behind the project, those are the sorts of things that I want to capture in this shop vlog. I made two terribly horrendous videos uh, just sort of documenting what it was like to be in the shop with me that day. That's kind of what I'm shooting for here. This tool is one of the most recent additions to my shop. I haven't had it for very long. I've only had it for about two months. And it is a CNC that I had my friend build for me. He, uh, he knows I do this kind of stuff and he wanted some money and he needed a project like this to work on. And so I asked him to make a CNC for me because I always wanted one. And here is what we ended up with. I don't really know how to use it that well, but I'm figuring it out. And we've had a lot of colossal mistakes, but so far so good. And I actually need to cut out a lot of different templates for this project because there's a lot of complicated uh, parts to it. And so I really need a CNC to work, and uh, you're gonna watch me try to figure out how to use this because it's uh, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, a lot of people when they make maker videos, they focus on the DIY. That's how I did it. Well, I'm not really here for that. I'm just here to just to document what's going on right now in my shop in this moment and sharing it with you, the audience, and future people who will watch this everywhere. Okay, so obviously the drone didn't work. What I was trying to do is I was trying to get the top down shot. When the, when the drone's just in such a small space, it has to focus on such a specific spot, it just can't stay stationary. And I know this is a regular ceiling, but there's just way too much in here for it to hit. So kind of risky and not really worth it. What I like about vlogs is that you're basically capturing what it was like to be with that person in that moment at that time. Because as of right now, I only have about three or four months at most left in this shop. And this is the shop that my dad and I built. Well, I was you know nine years old at the time. I didn't really do a whole lot. But this is our shop. This is the shop. This is my first shop. The only shop I've ever known. It's a shop where I built all my projects so far. And it's special to me. And, and it's very unfortunate that I am not really in a position where I can hold on to it. But the thing is that like all things that are special to us, they don't last forever. And it's important to know when to let them go.
course, I've got 80 bajillion projects going on in here at once, but the main one I'm focusing on right now is I'm doing, I do custom furniture, so I'm building a bunk bed for someone who lives in my town. And I actually met them through Facebook Marketplace. I saw one of those free ads that says custom furniture, and I get all kinds of messages on that. So uh, I'm building it for them. And that's what we're working on today and what the majority of this video will be about. Now I was incredibly disappointed that when I finished cutting this that there's a huge chunk taken out from the scrap I was using. That doesn't really matter that that chunk's there because I only need the inside for what I'm doing. And once again, you'll see why in a minute. Okay, that really sucked. And for now, I just wanna get this going and start telling the story of what it was like to be in the shop and work on some of the projects that I'm working on. One of the biggest investments I've made in my shop in the last couple of months is that I got more drills. At this point a year ago, all I had was this drill and this impact driver. Now I have this impact driver, another one, two of these drills, uh, this drill and that drill for a total of uh, whatever that is. So it really comes in handy for stuff like that though. It makes a big difference. Now in addition to my drill collection, I also have a bunch of routers. Gosh darn, I probably have like eight of them. But having, yeah, having multiple is handy because I can have different bits in them. Super helpful, I'm trying to think. Let's see, there's those two. One on that router table. There's another router table that I never use. There's one in there. Now that one I really like. It's one of those handheld ones. I don't, uh, I can't get it out. So unfortunately I can't use it for that purpose. But let's see, oh, there's another router table. I've definitely never used that one. I got a couple in the drawer. There's a couple other ones out here, and I know there's a couple in the house, I think. So yeah, there's there's a bunch. Um, Dad had a lot for some reason. I don't know why he had so many. I mean, he, of all the tools that he could have gotten, why get more routers? I don't get it. But. And people keep giving them to me too. I've got two or three people have given to me just because they think I can use them. I always appreciate it. Tools are tools. Tools are great. Tools are valuable. All right, well I just finished cutting up the second one and that's where I'm gonna call it tonight. You know, it's just crazy how, for me anyway, I always do something better the first time, the second or third or fourth or fifth. I don't know why that's just me. But anyway, I'm tired, it's like midnight. Calling it a night. Thanks for watching everybody.